Alright guys, so Bitcoin is dumping and you might be wondering what you're going to do with all your altcoin positions that were entered recently. Well, stay tuned and I will show you exactly what you need to do. All right, so uh, obviously Bitcoin has a you know pretty strong dump right here, but it's not really that serious. All right, it's not really that serious. We are still ranging. Look at this right here. I'm looking, showing you on the the four hour chart right here. It's uh, we're still ranging. We still have a you know local four hour uptrend in south range, and we're still still ranging. We're just getting a a a. A little dump here on Bitcoin, so nothing to panic about. Nothing to panic about. Just be patient. You know, stay, stick with the plan. If you have plans on the, you know, all composition, you stick with the plan. What I wanted to show you here on the BTC dominance is really this chart right here. All right, so this is the BTC dominance on the daily, and I mean, we're still having a. I mean, we had this very very strong move to the downside, and it's quite, you know. I mean, we can really expect a bounce down here because after you're getting a strong down move like this, it's uh, very logical to expect a, a bounce, right? If you zoom down into the lower time frames right here, you will see that we're still creating, you know, lower lows and lower highs. We're still in a downtrend on the 4 hour right here. And, uh, I've got this red box marked out right here and I was expecting this one to act as resistance but we're now actually it's looking like we're breaking out of this area. If we can establish this red box as support, I do think we have a you know we we're, we have a possibility of <clears throat> starting a new uptrend on the BTC dominance. And what that means is that the recent altcoin gains that we have seen <clears throat> Sorry about that. Over the course of the last two weeks, might be over, right? At least temporarily, because when the BTC dominance moves up, that means that money is flowing out of alts into BTC. That you know, hence the BTC dominance of the crypto market, right? So we're gonna look at a couple of altcoins that I've uh, I'm in or that I've exited. So I've actually exited the uh, I've exited the C cash, right? So we entered this one on the live stream yesterday and I've actually exited this one and I might enter this one again. The reason for exiting this one is the fact that we, if the BTC dominance continues to rise, I want to exit this one in good profit. I've taken 25% off here and I've exited the last of the position right here. If however, we will see a confirmed bounce right here, so we're getting a you know confirmed bounce right here and we're reclaiming this area above i might enter this one again for a bigger move right but right now i don't feel comfortable being in c cash at this very moment so i'm out of c cash and the reason being is basically the btc dominance i don't like the fact that we are breaking above this resistance area right here if we can continue higher it's a very strong possibility that um, all coins will suffer and the f that the reason for exiting C cash is because on a daily we had a very very strong move to the upside and I feel it like it's just likely to go back into the entry zone and that's going to give us another opportunity of a better entry. Let's take a look at BRD BTC so I'm still in this one not looking great but I'm hoping well it's looks like it's stopped out here but i have a three minute stop loss on three commas so i might have been saved by the delayed stop loss right here hopefully i was and it kind of looks like i i was uh ethereum btc i'm still in this one um what i'm thinking here is that the move from bitcoin is just another move inside the range right and people get scared and exit uh their positions right i'm still in bad i think this is looking good uh, and we're still in a clear four hour uptrend so i mean uh, ltc i'm in too and we went straight down into the entry point uh, and uh, i'm looking for a bounce down here right so the ones i've exited is uh, wtc so i've exited this one just like i i exited the uh, dcash right 
because I think if we have a confirmed bounce here, we might have a, another go for another exit. I've also exited ontology, ONT, BTC, because basically why is because we are inside daily high time frame resistance, and it's definitely like next level for a, for dump is uh, the entry point, right? So gotta be careful with this one. Gotta be very careful, and um, basically I'm just exiting this one and looking for a bounce lower like you got to be very careful like i'm I'm seeing a lot of people on on twitter and, and, and you know youtube and in the discord community everywhere they're getting like very euphoric right now because alts have really performed very very well these last couple of weeks and when that happens you gotta be you gotta be careful right you gotta be very careful of your positions right so what you need to be mindful of now is the b2c dominance will we get rejected here will we start trading lower and break this area and uh, continue seeing it being used as resistance or will we be will the next retest be a bounce and will it be used as a support that's very important if that happens i think it's time to exit alts if you're not in a you know long-term swing trade position for bitcoin what we're seeing for bitcoin is we're basically below range eq we are below the 21 EMA on the daily. We are below the 21 EMA on the daily and the 55 EMA on the daily. And uh, for Bitcoin, we're still ranging. We're in a very, very tight range right here. If you look in the four hour, we can see that we are in a very, very tight range indeed. And um, we can't really seem to get out of the range. And really, what I'm seeing for Bitcoin right here is we need to get above this whole area right here. This is the area that we need to reclaim because this, this is the area that... We broke down so you might remember the long setup that we had right here that long setup was based on this four hour trend continuing to the upside right so i was looking for this confirmed bounce we got a confirmed bounce on hourly i entered here uh, but got stopped out actually i didn't get stopped out because they used a trailing buy on three comments which never got activated but if you followed that setup without using trailing buy you would have gotten stopped out right now we're seeing something similar here. We're seeing a local four hour uptrend on Bitcoin, but inside this range. So we need to see a break out of this range first. And really what I need to see is a reclaim of this level, because this is the area that where the four hour trend went from bullish to bearish. And basically, this was the area where we saw the bearish break in mock structure. We need to reclaim that area for a up move for Bitcoin. And uh, like I've said for, you know, a long, long time, I'm bearish on bitcoin i think we're gonna hit range low when that happens i think the move is gonna be very strong and very very impulsive all right another thing i wanted to take a look at was the, the forex market so man i'm loving this so um i've entered this one um on a live stream with the bird nest so uh uh, and and uh, I've I've started I've started the uh, you know like I told you guys in the the live stream yesterday I've started uh, you know uh, sharing all my trades and I'm gonna share everything I do in this uh, trading journal right here. This is my trading journal on Edgebank and you can see that my I have two trades I've entered today I've entered that on the live webinar in the bird nest I've entered EURUSD uh, this one right let's see so this one I've entered this based on the five minute i wish i saw this because i would have taken 50 percent profit right here i'm going to move my stop loss right here right here so i'm going to move my stop loss to uh, 1.1355 what if i Thirteen fifty-five four. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this after the stream, after the, the, the this episode. All right. And another one I've entered is like you can see here. It's uh, USDJPY. That USDJPY right here. Not looking that good. Not looking that good. Uh, the well, I I get, I get everything in my journal here, and I will go through all the notes and everything when the the. Uh, Trade has uh, either you know getting stopped out or moved to profit. 
All right, so that's just a quick update for you guys, and I really wanted to make this quick update for you guys. I didn't really plan to make an update today, tonight, but I wanted to get a quick update out when I saw this price action from, uh, uh, you know, the BTC dominance and Bitcoin, basically. So, uh, honestly, yeah, it's not looking beautiful. It's not looking beautiful, and the BTC dominance is uh, not looking that great. So, gotta be careful, gotta be careful, guys. Move your stops into you know safe safe position on your altcoins because I think we're very much we're very much in the danger zone right now for altcoins. All right, guys, that's it. See you guys in the next update. Take care, guys, and hope you guys are ha having a fantastic start to your weekend.